All right, and it is time for uh, some more physics. I'm sure that's how many of you feel. Circular motion question for a grade 12 class. We got a 1.5 kilogram water balloon tied to a string, whirled around in a vertical circle, making life interesting. Calculate the maximum length of the string that will result in the string breaking, and it will break when it reaches a tension of 300 newtons. Speed of the balloon at the time is, we're trying to get to is 12 meters per second. So if everything goes well, uh, hopefully we get point, around 0.76 meters, about 75 centimeters. Okay. So one thing to remember is when this, if a string is going to break in a vertical circle, its maximum tension is down there and in the bottom. In order to keep going in the circle, you have to have a centripetal force. Well, the centripetal force is directed towards the center of the circle. At the bottom of that vertical circle, down here, you have the weight acting in the opposite direction as, as the uh, centripetal force. So the weight and the tension kind of, the weight and the centripetal force kind of subtract apart. Well, the tension in the string has to counteract the weight acting in the opposite direction, so the tension ends up being higher. So let's just go through the math here. Uh, looking at the forces down the bottom, we've got the force of tension acting upward that's positive, subtract the weight acting downward. The difference in those two forces has to be the centripetal force that keeps this object moving in a circle. Okay, so just looking at the vectors and how they're acting at the bottom of that circle gives me my formula. So R is the only thing we don't know. Everything else is given to us in the, in the problem. Let me just kind of put it in there. So the tension when it breaks is 300. The weight is mg, 1.5 times 9.81. And that is going to equal, just down here below, the mass, 1.5 kilogram water balloon, speed squared, 12 squared, over r. I'll simplify this and, and write it out. <laughs> Excuse me. Cold season. So on the left, it'll be 300 minus 1.5 times 9.81, 285.285, interesting. And on the right, 1.5 times 12 squared, 216 over R. So I'll do some cross multiplying and then dividing. So R will be 216 divided by 285.285. And that comes out to be 0 0.76 to two decimal places meters. So if the string is longer than 0 0.76, it won't break. The tension won't reach 300, given the speed of 12 meters per second. If the string is less than that distance, or less than that length, uh, by the time you get to 12 meters per second squared, the tension will reach 300 and it'll break. But at this exact point, it's kind of that equilibrium position where it maybe it won't or won't break. It's hard to really tell. All right, and uh, we're done.